Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hells Bill, hello. Um, first of all, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for all the kind words about the um, Dress to Impress, Mother of the Bride, whatever it is, whatever occasion video. Um, lots of lovely comments. Lots of requests for me to show you um, what I wore to our children's weddings. That's gonna take a bit of digging out because um, I know they're online somewhere on, on files or something, but I'm useless at that stuff. So um, I will get to that and I will share them with you. I mean, you know, <laughs> they are what they are. Um, varying, varying sizes, varying options and um but happy to share those with you so yeah thank you for that i had a, a lot of comments on that one and my overall advice would still be just enjoy it whatever happens whatever goes on any little trip ups any little things you've forgotten they don't matter none of it matters it's a bit like when you go on a holiday as long as you've got your passport and your credit card that's all you need to worry about. And it's a bit like a wedding. As long as the bride and groom and the officials are there. Official, you know what I mean. Um, you know, everything else will follow on. If, if people, I always think in these situations, everyone there, everyone that's invited to a wedding should be somebody that loves you or you love or they love the bride and groom. There's a connection there somehow. Now, if those people can't enjoy themselves on that day and give their all to that situation then you have to ask is that my problem no it isn't so a great big smile best facelift on the world on the planet and um beats every filler and botox out there and um yeah so just make sure you enjoy it whatever occasion it is you know and i know sometimes these situations are sticky when there's blended families and all that just plaster a smile on and it's it's just really 24 hours and it's not even 24 hours is it really so that's that's the last of that and like I say when I can find and dig out these photographs because a lot of you requested it I, I will show you those I might do it in a live I don't know I've got to find them first <laughs> anyway um today I am doing Marks and Spencer Hall um you know what it's like they they keep messaging you don't they with new stock new stock and uh, like I said before I don't have a lot of luck with them in the store um so it's easier for me to have them delivered because I pay for that annual pass and it's next day delivery I mean it's fantastic and um I've got a nice haul for you today I hope it's nice anyway um Something I've noticed on their website, and actually I've got a George Hall coming up later in the week or a couple of weeks, I don't know when I'll be doing it. They show things on their channel, that on their website, that aren't available to buy. I mean, that's ridiculous, isn't it? I, I thought, I do like a white swimsuit. Now, you know, I know most larger ladies tend to go for black or navy, but I don't know why really you know go for whatever color you like and i like a white swimsuit i've usually got a reasonable tan and i think a white swimsuit as long as it's not see-through is very flattering and on their website they showed a white sh uh, swimsuit with a white shirt over the top and i thought oh that looks nice but that white swimsuit was nowhere to be found on their website or whether it's not out yet or whether they've sold out i don't know but there was literally no sign of it now i think that's ridiculous if you're going to show something, it should be available to buy. And I had the same thing on the George Hall. Um, there was a three-piece suit, but there was only two pieces available. I did order the two pieces, but I wanted the third piece, which was the waistcoat. Not a sign of it. Not a sign of it. I searched on every possible connotation of waistcoat and it wasn't available. There we are just something else to have a little rant about you know all good fun so <laughs> you notice my hair is is completely kind of pulled back which is unusual for me but um I washed it yesterday and I didn't have time to dry it properly so it's all a bit hither and dither so rather than trying to fix it 
I just thought, well, I'll just take it, take it away. I feel a bit naked, to be honest. But anyway, that's what I look like. <laughs> I can't change that. So um, I'll crack on with this haul. I think I've got three or four dresses and um, a skirt and a couple of tops. So uh, let's get on with it. So this first dress is £69. I got it in the 18 regular and this is cotton and it is a lovely, it is nice to feel cotton instead of viscose and I guess that's why it's £69. Now it is a summer dress. I had tights and boots on so I've just kept those on I'm afraid so you have to use your imagination when you think of it as a summer dress. I love the print, it just, it doesn't say what animal, I don't know if it's an animal. Um, it's got this shared waist, quite a deep V. It's just showing a bit of the old cleavage. Long sleeves with a nice cuff and just the one button. So I guess if the sleeves were a bit on the long side, you could just um, fold them back just the once. Now I'm a little bit in two minds about a summer dress that's got long sleeves. Because if it's, I don't know, I don't know what you think, but when it's kind of hot enough to wear a cotton dress, I generally don't think that I want long sleeves. Maybe that's just me. It's got pockets, which is a good thing. And it's got a slit, quite a deep slit on the side, which if you're wearing the um, jockey shorts, you know, you'd have to be aware of. I, th I think that'd be safe, that one. So I'll show you it full length anyway. Like I say, £69. skirt I do like it but I, I say it's, it's just the long sleeves element of it even if it was a three-quarter sleeve which I don't know I don't know what you think anyway each to their own but um, for me a pure cotton summer dress doesn't require long sleeves but I guess some people want to cover their eyes I don't, I don't know. I'm just rambling on so Nice dress, £69, not sure. It's got, oh yeah, is it? Yeah, it's got like an inset piece there. So it's got some nice detail to it. And it's uh, nothing to like or dislike really. I do love a pocket. I know not everyone does, but I really do. So that's dress number one. Now this second dress, did I say that last one was autograph? This is autograph too. And this is like a very dark brown with a lime green, um, another green and a grey and a kind of, I don't know, I think it's ivory, kind of 60s vibe, isn't it? With this lovely cuff with one, two, three, five covered buttons on it. It's got this nice detail here, zip detail. It's also got pockets. Um, and this is cotton rich too. Well, that's interesting. This is an 18 regular. This is much more slimmer fitting. Um, much more slim fitting, not slimmer fitting. And this is viscose, 100% viscose. But um, this is, oh no, that's the wrong one. Sorry, sorry. It's not cotton. No cotton in this dress. It's just viscose. But they put a tie belt on it. Now, I think this is quite... Um, an elegant dress so I don't think this tie belt does anything for it at all and I would take it off if I was to keep the dress I think it changes the whole vibe of the dress if that makes any sense at all but it's got this this V uh, this zip which obviously you could have all the way to the top if that's your thing I think it's more flattering to have a little bit of neck on show you know whatever floats your boat really but it's a, it's a lovely dress, 18 regular. I've got it on with, um, of course, my heist tights, as always, and my duo black suede boots, which I absolutely love. It's such a lovely feeling to be able to put boots on. So many years I couldn't wear boots because of my calves. But, um, yeah, I think it's a... It's a good um, between season dress, I think. The fact that it's got this um, empire line here, which just the gathers. It's not, you know, it's, I don't know, it's more figure 
hugging than the last dress. It has got a zip in it, but I, I didn't even see the zip because once I took this off and undid the the belt, it, it was simple to get on. So there's not an awful lot of room in it. So if you're heavy around the tummy area, it might be a bit snug. There's a probably two, three inches space here. Um, but the tights help to smooth that all out. So I think it is a good between seasons dress. It kind of has got quite an autumnal vibe to it, hasn't it really, with these colours? But anyway, yeah, I think it's a little bit different. Makes a change, doesn't it? Makes a change from flowers. I'm kind of going off flowers a little bit. I don't know what's going on with me. I've gone off wine as well. Since I had that cold, um, or COVID, I think it probably was COVID. I haven't really had a drink and I had a drink last night and I oh, didn't like it. So that's a good thing, really. Um, so yeah, that's dress number two. I have waffle on as usual. Now this again is an 18 regular. This is 100% viscose and this was £39.50. Um, I think it looks nicer on the website than it does in the flesh which is, for me, usually the other way around. It's got this nice little um, kind of pie cross collar with the placket and the piping. Oh no, it's like a little pulled lace um, detail down there, which is nice. Um, a puffed elasticated sleeve, which is a little, I don't like it too much. And then it's got the shared waist and then it's tiered, no pockets. Seems to be that you have to pay over £60 for pockets. Um, and it's a kind of paisley print, I think you would call it. Um, it's got navy background with a nice blue and yellow. Um, yeah, it, it's not for me, but there's nothing wrong with it either. I think it would look nice. I mean, I, yeah, obviously, I think it'd look nicer with sandals. But um, I've got the boots on, so I've got the boots on. But, you know, you could easily put like a heavy cardigan over this and wear it with the boots and it would carry you through the season. Um, yeah. It's what I would say, nothing to write home about. Um, nothing wrong with it, but I'm not keen on it in, in the flesh. It's quite a nice fabric. It's almost um, kind of creased, you know, that kind of slightly, um, what do they call it? Um, like cheesecloth type of thing. It isn't, but it's not a smooth fabric. It has got a texture to it. So um, that's nice. But like I say, nothing to write home about. And now this is an 18 long navy knitted dress. And this is a polyester acrylic wool elastane mix. Um, do you know what? I don't even remember putting this in my basket. Now, I find personally, with a dress like this, it's very easy to get overheated um, because you're not often anywhere cold, are you? Do you know what I mean? It's like when you're indoors, this would be, with tights on, certainly this would be too warm. And for this kind of dress, I, th I think you want to be wearing tights and boots. It gives itself to that. So I'm not sure where I would wear this dress. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's £35 and um, I'll link everything in the description box anyway. You'll see, it's, it's a straight column dress with a slip up both sides. Um, I like navy and black together. I know not everybody does, but I do. Um, uh, it is quite, you know, hugging, figure hugging. So if you've got, but you know, a bit of shapewear or, or a slip would probably help with that too. But um, it's where I would wear it is the quandary for me. I don't know. Because even if you do something that's outside, you usually end up in, inside at some point, don't you? And my thermostat's a bit up the wall. So um, particularly since I've had that bug, I, I sort of come over all peculiar as I call it. <laughs> oh dear, okay, so the vapours. Um, 
So yeah, it's it's not for me. I, I don't even remember ordering it. I really don't, but I must have done because it was in my basket and I paid for it. So um, not for me, but maybe if you live in a colder climate or up north, I mean, you know, I think it's a lot colder up north than it is down here. But anyway, that's dress number four. And so I have got um, a skirt and a couple of tops to show you. So I'll do that now. I think I'm gonna to have to take my um, boots off for that one. We'll see. So this is a skirt and t-shirt. Now this is a very simple ribbed black t-shirt, £12.50, um, described as cotton rich. So it must have some stretch in it. Quite a nice fit of t-shirt. I think I prefer the um, U-neck ones, but um, perfectly nice. And then the skirt is viscose, and this is 29.50, and this is an 18 regular. Now, I like this skirt because it's a little bit different. It's got this whole shared panel here, which makes, I used to make skirts like this by the dozen when I was young. It's such an easy design to do, not with the sharing, but just with kind of a piece, elasticated waist, and then a gathered on bit. Honestly, I had so many. I <laughs> just, I used to knock a couple of a couple of those up in an afternoon. Oh, those were the days. But it's a nice print, black and ivory. It's actually, I don't know if you can see that close up. There's a little um, textured piece in in there as well. So it's not just a flat fabric. It probably looks better tucked in, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it makes a change to have a skirt, doesn't it? Skirts seem to have gone out of favour completely, but they are more versatile in many ways. You know, put a different t-shirt on with it or whatever. It's got loads of room, really comfortable. I'm not sure how it will crease. I mean, this just came out of the bag. It is a little bit creased, but the pattern kind of hides it too. So um, my hair's falling out, not falling out, out, but falling out, there's, um, tied up with all the tops I'm taking back and forth. I've got a little um, sweater. I'll go and get that and put that on over the um, top of this, this one. I thought I'd show you this off the hanger, off me, off hanger, off me first. This is um, cotton rich, 35 pounds. It's got a lovely design on it. It's quite a heavy, heavy jumper. Um, and it's it's not long. So I'll put that on and see what it looks like. Because it would look nice, I think, with um, a vest top underneath it. So, you you know, you'd see the holes. That's why I thought I'd show it to you off me first. Because um, with the long sleeve black jumper underneath now these sleeves are kind of a little bit flared. They've got this lovely edging on them, like a crocheted scallop edging, which is rather nice. Um, I like that. I don't know if they do that in other colors, actually. Um, let's see. Oh, good Lord. They do it in like a yellow and a bright pink. Do you know, when I was in the store the other day, I walked past a jumper that was on on display and I actually said out loud to nobody, that's disgusting. It was the most horrible yellow that I can ever describe and it looked cheap and nasty it looked like something you get on a market stall oh, sometimes with m and i honestly don't know what they're thinking it was revolting to me my opinion it's only ever my opinion get that straight so oh it's got the same scalloped edge on the bottom here as well so i think that's quite neat isn't it i like that not sure how much wear I'd get out of it because I don't tend to wear shorter jumpers if I'm wearing trousers, but it would look probably quite nice with a shirt just longer than it. I don't know. I might see if they get, if they send me a 20% offer, I might treat myself, but um, 
I have got similar things and I tend just not to wear them because I usually wear something a bit longer. But um, it does feel lo feels lovely, it feels quality. And uh, the sleeves are long, but they're not stupid. I can still do the washing up and, you know, because they're not hugely big, you can fold them back if you need to do something practical, which I don't know, maybe I'm in the minority that I need to do anything practical. So, uh, yeah, I, I like I like the skirt and I, yeah, I mean, I like all of it. So one last thing, um, which is a swimsuit and a shirt. So we'll see. I'll see if I can get it on. So I got the, t the sweatshirt, uh, sweatshirt, the swimsuit on, which is just as well, because it is a 20 actually. I ordered a 20 to see. I thought it might be give me a better fit. And um, I'm not sure whether I would go down to an 18 or not really. Um, but what I was pleased to see is that I do do a long. Now this is um, £29.50 in the pink. Um, and this is a pure cotton shirt, which is £25. Now I wanted something not as see-through, um, but the swimsuit is a lovely colour, isn't it? I mean, and it fits nicely. It's got cups in um, the top. I mean, you know, I have got a long body and um, it's, it's a nice shape. I love the colour. I did want white, but actually I like the pink now that I've got it on. It's a lovely, vibrant pink. And the other thing with black is, if it's really sunny, they get so hot. I had, um, I tend to wear a two-piece, you know, high-waisted um, bikini bottom and uh, various, I've got kind of mix and match separate. So I need to sort that drawer out actually, because I've got now that I've got a drawer of things. If Rob comes home now, <laughs> in February oh good lord um anyway I've got a drawer of swimsuits and things and um and then all the ones that I actually am kind of using that I took on holiday and stuff are in a basket because I can't fit them in the drawer so I need to have a jolly good clear out I've, I it, it's really plain on my mind now so I need to um kind of do one category at a time so I'm going to do swimsuits this week and um kind of tackle it bit by bit like that. So the charity shops are going to be in for a bit of a surprise with the various different things that come in. Now this shirt, I think £25 is, is quite a lot of money for something as sheer as this. I think you could pick that up cheaper in Primark or Matalan or somewhere. I wanted something that was slightly heavier cotton and that wasn't so see-through because you're not really covering much up with something like this. But... Um, an interesting haul, I think. We're we're certainly heading towards spring, aren't we? Thank goodness. Um, oh, it has got a cuff. It came like this. It came with came came with the sleeves rolled up, and uh, but there is a cuff. Um, so yeah, look at me disrobing for you all. So I think that's it. Um, Mum's coming later today, so um, she's here for a few days. I might get her on camera if if. Um, she'd like to. Um, I've got to do, oh, I, I'm going to do a whole video on air frying. I had quite a lot of requests for that. So I've got a George um, haul. And then I think I mentioned before that I worked with a, I worked with another silk company, Daisy Silk, and um, got some lovely pieces from them that I'll be sharing with you. So um, yeah, that's it for me. Have a good week and I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.